Okay, this isn't an Asda bagless vacuum or cylinder vacuum. This is another box of DVDs. I'll, I will warn you now that I, I have three more boxes that I'm going to do over the next couple of weeks uh, just to have a look and see what we've got in, in various things bought from a local auction. Uh, discarded DVDs from people's homes. You can see we're, we're off to a top quality film there on the top. I haven't been through this, so I don't know what exactly is in there. There's a bit of a hint as to where I got it, if, if you're nuts about finding out. Uh, so I'm just going to start pulling them out, pile by pile. Um, and I'll adjust this a little so we have maximum space to be able to lay things out. Okay, right on the very top, there's actually a free Daily Mail DVD. And this is obviously the sound of music. Uh, which might not be the movie, it might actually be. No, it's a collector's edition. Oh, this is the soundtrack. Yeah, it's the soundtrack as opposed to the DVD, because you can also get the DVD. Right, grand. Uh, I don't think I have that, so. Um, nice Phoebe. Right, the one you saw on the top there is The Bodyguard with Kevin Costner and the late Whitney Houston. Uh, inside here we do have the DVD. It looks a wee bit scraped up, but come to expect that from these sorts of things. Uh, I, do, I never owned this film. In fact, I might even go as far to say I haven't seen it. I probably have, I don't remember, but... I don't know, it'll be one to watch. There's not much in the way of special features Features there. There is a section for them, but they've just put in standard features in the special features. As you do, Region 2, 15, cardboard case. I do like those cardboard sleeves. They, they fit nicely together. Right. Oh, an absolute classic. Uh, and in a, a weird, thin uh, DVD case with special collector's edition written at the bottom. Perhaps not to be sold separately. So this might have been in a larger collection which has lost things or other installments. But it's a two disc edition with DVD and I know that this DVD was actually pretty good um, and it gave the Blu-ray when it came out a bit of a run for its money although it's now been released on 4K so it's one to pick up. Tons of special features on there. Uh, and a nice addition. I would prefer to have the complete collection that this was a part of one day. Oh, Dark Tide. Oh no, I like this film. I'm a bit of a fan of Halle Berry for obvious reasons. And it, it is a must-see according to besthorrormovies.com and it was originally 1.50 from CEX. Uh, so, yeah, this is a grand film to have. I am quite happy to keep this. I uh, would like a Blu-ray upgrade, but uh, I'm not going to run around chasing one. Don't see anything in the way of special features on the back. And the disc is inside of it. It's just a wee bit mucky, but uh, I guess I'll give it a bit of polish before, uh, before sitting down and watching it. Yeah, th this wasn't a bad shark movie. It was okay. Uh, hmm, right, okay, this is another freebie from the front of the Daily Mirror this time. Um, Ain't Half Hot Mum. I think it's just one episode, maybe. Yeah, 30 minutes. Great. Ooh, nice, nice. I like this film. Very, very good film. I, in fact, I've never met anyone who dislikes this film. Um, Training Day is absolutely excellent. Tons of special features on there as well. I think I have it on Blu-ray, maybe even 4K soon. And inside of it we have the DVD. I have I do think I have this on DVD already in a slightly different package. And I think it has a booklet inside it. I might be wrong, but well, I can check. Uh, Marley and me. With Owen Wilson and Jennifer Anderson. It's a cute comedy about a dog with, a, I believe, a very sad ending. Just if you haven't seen it, beware. Uh, special features are in there. And the 
used DVD from GameStop. Okay, uh, Marley and Bait Me DVD. Eh, I can't say I'll ever watch it, but. <laughs> wow, now, now this is something I'm glad to have on DVD. This is the kind of thing I'm looking for. Uh, movies that will probably never be seen again. Altitude 75p from CEX. Uh, it's got special features, audio commentary, altitude behind the scenes, green storm featurette and original concept gallery. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 100%, well, I'm 93% sure that I've seen this and I quite liked it. But um, I'm prepared to hold on to this because I, I like this sort of film on DVD. Uh, next up is another 50p DVD. Uh, this is Casanova with Heath Ledger, Sienna Miller and Jeremy Irons. We talked about Jeremy Irons quite recently on the Projector Room podcast. From the director of Chocolat. Another CEX special with a bunch of uh, bonus features. Creating the adventure and stuff like that. Filmfactory.co.uk And the disc is in there. Uh, right, fair enough. Uh, oh, a classic. Vertigo. In that nice sort of uh, collection uh, design that they had. I have the birds. And maybe I have Vertigo as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah. Um, yeah, oh, it's, it's great, this film. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, one of his best, I'd even go as far to say. Um, there's a few special features there. It doesn't say who the film commentary is with. I wouldn't imagine it's with Hitchcock himself. He's, he's not around anymore. And the disc is in there. Cool. I will add that to the other ones. It's good to have a backup, I suppose, just in case I'm, I'm stuck without vertigo. I can take this with me if I need to. Uh, bereavement. Ooh, okay. This is a, a little indie horror film, I think, with Michael Benn. I remember this coming out. John Savage as well. I met him once. Gripping and frightening. Bonus features, deleted scenes, stills gallery, and making of bereavement. Yeah, okay. Oh, ah, this is where she came from, Alexandra Daddario. Yes, that's right. I remember now. I haven't seen this, but it was on my watch list years ago and just disappeared off my watch list in some stage. Sur What's that? 75p? Surviving Evil. Another one I haven't heard of, but it's Billy Zane, Natalie Mendoza, and someone else. Special features, making of feature. 45 minutes. Okay, and I got listed at the uh, official selection at Shriekfest 2009. Fair enough. Obscure horror film on DVD. I'll, I'll take it. Another obscure, somewhat horror-y type film, but decent thriller. I have seen this. I love Stuart Gordon and Menace of Aria. It's got Stephen Ray in it as well, inspired by shocking true events. It's a crap cover, I have to say. It had a better cover when I had it. I don't think I still do. I don't know what became of it. But yes, he gets stuck in her windscreen and they... Oh, I can't quite remember what happens in it now. I'll have to rewatch it. Uh, making of audio commentary with Stuart Gordon. Terrific. Menace of Ari and the writer. Cool, okay. Hopefully the disc is there. Good, good. Very pleased with that. Death by engagement. What happened to the, the stickers on these? They're completely faded. That does say one pound. I don't know if you can see that. Death by engagement is an 18. Halloween meets Porkies. Halloween meat. Oh, fair enough. Uh, sure to win many horror fans' hearts. Okay. I've never heard of it before. But, yes, I'll, I'll put it. Obscure horror films. Grand. Disc is there. Uh, the Bucket List. I was a bit disappointed by that. Jack and Morgan are brilliant in it, but... I just didn't find it terribly funny or heartwarming or anything of, of that for that matter. 
and it's completely forgettable, which is which is a bit sad because I think it's a really, really good idea. Oh, it's got a few extra features on it. Yeah, all right. Uh, maybe I'll watch it again in years to come and give it another go, see if it's any good. Right, that's the stuff off the top. Now we're heading into the heart of the box with natural porn killers. Wow, this is a good box. Okay, I don't have this at all, I don't think. I've always held off buying it for a better and a better version. But this has special features, feature than commentary with Oliver Stone, 26 minutes behind the scenes documentary. Yeah. Okay, I'm really chuffed with this. Um, and and I, I, I do believe there's a, a nice Blu-ray out there of it. Don't know about 4K at the moment, can't think. But it's got a cool cover too with uh, coloured glasses there. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm chuffed with that. Uh, Nicole Kidman Nightmaster. Never heard of this before, but a lot of Nicole Kidman's films, I think maybe when she was back in Australia and things like that, kind of went under the radar over here. So it's got uh, Tom Jennings from Mad Max 3 in it, so this must be an Australian production, possibly. Um, bare Bones, just the DVD, might be worth looking into, but it's probably one of those movies where, oh, she was in it, so let's get it slapped out there with her big face and uh, her big name and get people to buy it cheap, because it's not very good. Don't know. Uh, out of the Blue. Based on the true story of New Zealand's infamous shootings. Okay, that's another one from Down Under. Well, slightly right of Down Under. Uh, stars Carl Urban. Okay, everyone should see this, see this film. All right. Yeah, I'm chuffed with this. Uh, nothing in the way of special features, don't think. I don't see anything there. But yeah, okay. Uh, the disc is there. Top stuff, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on, the, I'm on board with that. That's got me. <laughs> me without you. Uh, right, okay. Anna Friel, she tweeted me once. Michelle Williams. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Um, who needs enemies when you've got a best friend? Okay, it's a little British comedy, romantic comedy, probably. It's Anna Friel, Friel, director's commentary, production notes, and trailer. Well, it was a nice enough present presentation. Yeah. Well, set it over there. Uh, stealth, one for the lads. <laughs> inappropriate is that. Uh, Josh Lucas, Je Jessica Beale, and Jamie Fox. I do remember this coming out. I've never actually seen it. I always tried to, but I just heard it was stupid and dumb. And other words that mean stupid and dumb. Uh, special features. I don't know. I, I do have to see it at some point in my life, so I may as well watch it off the back of this because I've got it. No, I've got no excuse. Catch and release. Jennifer Garner from the writer of Erin Brockovich. Okay. Life is messy. Love is messier. Ugh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Timothy Oliphant's in it, and Kevin Smith. Holy cow, that's Kevin Smith. In a romantic comedy. I've never heard of this before. Have you? Blimey. Um, I'll probably never watch it live, but it's interesting. Hurt. Don't recognise any of the names across the top. Terrible things are happening in the desert. It's a 15. Looks like a decent enough little independent horror film. Lion's Gate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's a, another one to add to the obscure horror film collection that I'm, I'm quite pleased with. Brick. With Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Lucas Haas. And a bunch of people I've never heard of. Rian Johnson. Okay. The smartest indie flick since Donnie Darko. Ooh, that's, that's a bold statement. Director's commentary. Well, 
you know, jo Joseph Gordon-Levitt had to have come from somewhere, and I'm guessing this might have been one of the films that put him on the map. And if someone's comparing it to Donnie Darko, then it's it's worth looking at. Yeah. <sighs> right, okay. Um, Ant and Deck, Alien Autopsy. I do remember this coming out. I'm not going to see it. Harry Dean Stanton's in it. And Jimmy Carr. Uh, special features are there. And, and I'm still not going to watch it. Uh, the Woman in Green. This is a Sherlock Holmes adventure. Oh, Basil Rathbone. He was the best Doctor Who. Doctor Who? Uh, Sherlock Holmes. Cool. Uh, no, I'm, I'm chuffed to have that, actually. I like these sorts of things, having something like this. You never know when it, you're going to need it or want it. Or I'm sure it turns up on obscure TV channels way down the guide, but... It's another of those that's probably part of a larger collection. It's lost all its siblings. The Pursuit of Happiness. Inspired by a true story. Wait a minute. I think I'm getting my films mixed up. Yeah, this is what I thought seven pounds was. I got seven pounds in one of the previous boxes I looked at. And I got confused with this. This is where he's got these machines. Yeah, and he's selling them and the government reaches into his bank account and takes the money out. This is really good. I don't know about seven pounds. I haven't seen it. God. Right, okay. So, The Pursuit of Happiness. Yeah, I like this. Good time. How weird is that? Uh, yeah, bunch of special features on the back there. One of the best films of the year. Tough for that. Very tough for that. Whoa, the cellar door. This looks quality crap. A uh, bunch of awards. Shriek Fest, Shriek Fest, Shriek Fest. Don't recognize any of the names on the back. Might be the only copy of it in the world. Excellent. And we're doing well. We've got loads of discs in the boxes. That's unusual. Speaking of horror films. Michael Fassbender's G and Air rental copy, four pounds pre-owned. Imagine paying that for it. Flip it back. There's Judy Dench. Bonus features as well. Uh, really crap, cheap. Well, I suppose it's a rental copy, isn't it? So it's going to be that. But the disc is there. I'm sure my wife will be excited about that. Elton John's greatest hits, one night only. Live at Madison Square Gardens. Um, oh dear, I spoke too soon, didn't I? All the other bump is there, just not a copy of the disc. Ah, well, I'll just put it over there. Right, oh my word. Tony Lambrino, suited and booted. Is he a singer or a comedian? Growing up in the East End, you sorted out your problems on a Saturday night. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what this is. And it, it's, it's educational, sorry, it's exempt, sorry, so it's, it's not rated. London Gangsters. Unless it's a documentary. 58 minutes. The that might have been made about some notorious gangster that I've never heard of, which is always a good thing. Uh, next up is Born to Kill. Dr. Harold Shipman, as seen on Sky One. Uh, right, okay. Uh, so this is a 60 minute documentary all about Dr. Harold Shipman and his uh, career as a surgeon. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's again exempt. It's just documentary. It might be quite interesting one day. You never know. Some might have to do a project on weird killers over the years. 71. Right, okay. This is a, a, a quite a good film, actually. Um, it's a, a 
based around the conflict uh, in Belfast over the years. Um, I, I do remember it coming out and it, it is quite a good film. Uh, and it just came at a time when, well, there's just a few too many thrillers about, of that style coming out about the hist the troubles in Belfast. We're getting a bit sick of it over here, to be honest. Rush R2. I think I've got all three Rush R's now. I think the other two were in the other box. How convenient is that? Yeah. I don't remember this one at all. No. But it, it's good to have the three of them, I suppose, in case I ever want to go and refresh my memory over them. And DVD is fine. When Harry went Sally. Oh, a nice for. Ooh. Oh, grief. Right, okay. Uh, a nice version of it with a slipcase. The slipcase is falling apart. Oh, okay. This is some kind of weird import. Yes, I have a few of these uh, that have like a slipcase that's printed in China with Chinese daubings all over it. And then you just get a black box. Mm. Yeah. DVD 9. Ah, oh, right, okay. I'm not too thr th thrilled about that. Special edition uh, includes over seven minutes of never before seen footage. Oh, there's a bunch of special effects on there. Yeah, well, it's a classic film, so it's a bit of a shame that it's DVD 9. Where the Wild Things Are. I do remember this coming out. My son was quite young at the time, and we didn't take him to see it because it just seemed a wee bit too scary. Yeah, uh, so special features, creatures, features. Okay. Uh, that was, this was a pretty big film when it was released. It's decent enough to have it here. Quite chuffed with that, I suppose. Child 44. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. Um, this, is, this is good. This is a good film. Uh, Gary Oldman is top notch as ever. I, d I didn't know who Tom Hardy was when I went to see it. And it has Numi Rapace in there as well, which is terrific. Uh, special features are included too. Is the disc? It is there. Groovy. Good to have. Oh, Jesus. Uh, the Forgotten, a fantastic British horror movie. Hmm, okay, this is interesting. Deliver shocks and tension that you could cut a knife with. Okay, another little forgotten horror movie. Grand. Ah, Happy Gilmore. This is getting a sequel. Theatrical trailer, production notes, cast and film notes. Happy Gilmore. Cool. I don't know that I have it on DVD even. I, I might do. But I definitely had it on VHS. Donnie Darko. Right, okay, we can pair this up with that other one. Draw comparisons. Yeah, Donnie Darko is a bit of a cracker. Corker. Top-notch film. Special features include animated menus, chapter selection. Uh, crap features. But it, it always was. It was always released in, on budget, which really was a bit of an insult to it because it was such a good movie. And it had a sequel as well, didn't it? Mammoth. Awesome. Tom Skerritt. Quality. Summer Go. Yeah, from um, Firefly. Okay. Yeah, alright. I'm, I'm chuffed to have that. Uh, Mammoth. Cool. Must, uh, maybe it's like a cheap sci-fi channel production or something like that, but... No, I think... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna watch that. Cold Feet, all eight episodes from season three. Here, Ted, look what I got. Um, this has got Jimmy Nesbitt in it. And he he lives next door to me. He doesn't really. But, uh, oh, it's, no, is it a missing a disc? Or is there just two? Disc one, disc two. Okay, so that's season three, plus a bunch of extras. Pff, smells a bit, to be honest. Um, what's that? In Their Skin, Selma Blair. Yeah, she's good. James Darcy. All right. Another little, well, I suppose it's more of a intruder thriller or something like that. That probably has a big twist at the end that isn't as good as you would like to think. Uh, but, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch that. 
Ooh. Teachers. Two Pines from CEX. Uh, so this is a TV series. Oh, uh, Series 4. Oh, the, there was someone who was in this, I vaguely remember. Was it your man from Walking Dead? David Morrissey, was he in this? I don't know. He's not actually on the cover, but he is. That's just your man from Gavin and Stacey. I think he plays Stacey. Um, three discs. Okay. I, don't, I wonder if the rest of the series is in there. I'll set that over with cold feet. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Speaking of Numi Replace. I have these all on Blu-ray. Although I don't have the Daniel Craig one, which this isn't. But I'll have to compare it to see whether or not it has... So already I think I'm off to a better start because this says extended versions. I don't see anything like that on here. Exclusive sneak peek at the sequel. Interviews. Photo gallery. Swedish version and English language version. So I do think, yeah, this probably has... It's 186 minutes for the original and then 152. So yeah, better off with that. Also, this has the sequels. Okay, the Prodigal Boxer. Shiloh Cinema. Oh, this is a bit manky. Nang Fi is the Prodigal Boxer. I've never heard of him. It's a 15, so it, it is a movie. Right, okay. I'm, I'm going to drop this on the floor because it needs cleaned. It's minging. All right, hands washed. Green Street. That was that was disgusting. That last DVD. Um, I think it was like ground up bones or something on it. Green Street. This was the, the a big release when it came out. It had your man Elijah Wood and Claire Forlani's in it. Claire Forlani. Yeah, about bonus features as well. <laughs> Hobbit the Hooligan. What an appropriately titled documentary. Yep, cool with that. DVDs there. Good. In Bruges. In Bruges. As uh, Brendan Gleeson and Colin Farrell. Ray Fiennes. I'm resisting the urge to say who I know out of these. Not know, but have worked with and spoken to in the past. But I'll just leave that. Ask me down in the comments. Maybe I'll tell you. Bonus content includes Blur. In Bruges. Great film. I have it on. Mm, do I? don't have it on Blu-ray. I thought I did. I, re I vaguely remember buying it. But, well, we have it on DVD, so great. Next up is, oh, grief, Torval and Dean's Dancing on Ice. Live tour 2007. It even comes with a sticker <laughs> so you can give it to someone for a present. Right. Uh, um, uh, I don't want to talk about that. Aaron Brockovich, which is from the writer of another film that we've looked at. Uh, includes two deleted scenes and featurettes. Yeah, great film. Really is. Albert Finney was fantastic and it as was Julia Roberts. Dead chuff with that, actually. Yeah. I, I know it's probably out in Blu-ray and stuff like that, but I, I'm, I'm quite fine with that being on. DVD, and I will have to give the case a bit of a wipe, because it's icky. Oh, speaking of ick, this one's cover. that this must be the source of the ick. Right. Uh, east is East. I don't know what that is. I've, I've, I've seen the film. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's stuck to the cover. I don't really want to. I want to set it down. It sounds like there's a disc inside. And we'll investigate that when I go and get my hazmat suit. Ooh, it smells. It might be a tea bag or something. Oh, it does. It smells quite bad. Uh, Shooters. Shooters is a film with guns. It's an 18. Blistering performances by a brilliant cast. We're not going to tell you who they are, but genuine grit and grip. Ooh, and a check in her underwear. Oh, Loaded Magazine gave it that, that uh, seal of approval. 
Hmm. Okay, it doesn't sound too bad. It says it's a bit like transporting a Get Carter. It might be worth a look. Uh, Adrian Dunbar. <laughs> yep, know him too. Jared Butler. Okay, I'll be watching this. Um, yeah, Adrian's always good. Very reliable, interesting, funny man. Zodiac, Mark Ruffalo, Jake Gyllenhaal and Robert Downey Jr. I don't think this film needs too much of an introduction. I imagine most people have seen this. One of David Fincher's more interesting movies. I would say it's terrific, but I do remember when it came out, a lot of people didn't really like it um, that much because it's not your traditional uh, a serial killer thriller. It, because it's based on a true story, it kind of has... It, it, its ending is written already, so they didn't get to throw in any clever twists or anything like that. It's just a dramatic reconstruction, essentially. Anthony Edwards is in it as well. Brian Cox. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it since the cinema. Mm. It's a bit manky too. Uh, Destination Germany, road to the 2006 finals. Amazing action and great goals. 32 participating nations. Um, cool, it's a it's a football documentary. Um, I don't think it sounds particularly interesting at all. Road to the 2006 finals, you know, that's that's almost 20 years old. We'll put it down there. Um, I don't know what this is. MBT. Is this a shoe documentary? Oh my word it is. I was just talking in work the other day about how people can have foot fetishes. That probably is a porn film for some people. Right, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. And Peep Show. Terrific. Ooh. Series 3. I can add that to my other copy of Series 3 that doesn't look like this. Maybe it does. I don't remember. Because I did, I bought them all individually, aside from the last three seasons where I've got a box set, I think. Yeah, really good TV show though. Maybe the rest is in here. Right, another freebie. <laughs> the Christmas Hits album. Bing Crosby, Aretha Franklin, Nat King Cole. Great. 40 year old virgin. What a top notch comedy that is. Absolutely fantastic. Don't think I have it on DVD. I think I have it on DVD, yeah, but I don't think I have it on Blu-ray. Bunch of bonus features there. One disc edition. Grand. Love happens. Thank God it's not Bridesmaids. I thought it was Bridesmaids again. Uh, Aaron Eckhart and Jeff Jennifer Aniston. Love happens. Never heard of it. Martin Sheen as well. Special features. I do like Aaron Eckhart, but I tend to prefer him whenever he's got a gun and he's running around on the back of a ship or something like that. Which he seems to be doing quite with alarming regularity at the moment. Employee of the month. I've seen this. Dane Cook, Jessica Simpson. That's right. Jack Dak Shepard. Where they're working in a supermarket and they're they're trying to... It's, it's really mean-spirited. It's not laugh-out-loud funny either. But it's all right poopers ad libs yeah it wasn't such a bad film it just it's completely forgettable gossip girl season two volume two what a great cover there's hobbit yeah from hobbit to hooligan to gigolo okay I don't know what Gossip Girl is. Oh, is it? Oh, not the Gilmore Girls. No, I don't know. Episode 50. Find, uh, mm, okay, this must be a lost or a found footage movie in the guise of paranormal activity. All right. Disc is there. Anything exciting about it? No one particularly notable in the cast. Don't recognize the director's name. No special features. Well, we'll just set it with our little collection of curious 
unheard of movies. A heard of movie, again with Halle Berry, Gothica. I haven't had this since video, but it's grand. It's a good film, this. Genuinely scary. I think I've only seen it once when I bought the video, but it's, it's a decent enough little film. Quite interesting. Yeah, cool. Uh, point of Betrayal. Ooh, this is another icky one. And Cusack. Rod Taylor. I do like Rod Taylor. Point of Betrayal. This must be a direct video thriller that they've packaged on the DVD. No special features. Probably in 4x5. I can't imagine it being widescreen at all. Doesn't even brag widescreen. I don't want to open it, but I think I'm going to have to. Yeah, all right. I'll set it down there with the other monkey ones and go wash my frickin' hands again. Right. Oh. Excellent. Another Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes and the Secret Weapon. Yeah, Basil Rothbone. Yes, I was thinking, well, the last time I washed my hands, he's not my favourite Sherlock Holmes. Jeremy Brett would be. But I do like Basil Rothbone, yeah. Again, I was thinking this was Bridesmaids, but it's not a sleepover. Which I don't recognise in the slightest, or even anyone on the cover. Brie Larson's in it, and Steve Carell. Okay. Good movie. Chuck Norris is in this, you know. Oh no. Oh. No disc. Nuts. That's a that's a cracker comedy if you if you fancy watching something genuinely fun. <laughs> oh, well, okay. We've got another copy of the bodyguard. And again, it doesn't have any special features on it, but if one copy doesn't work, the other one will. It does look a bit eek. So someone's had a spillage and just got rid of all the DVDs. Legend of the Mummy, is this the one with uh, Jason Scott Lee? No, this is Lou Gossett Jr. Oh, right, okay, I don't know this at all, it's a bit bent. I'll try and straighten that out. Uh, I think I know of it, it might have been done the rounds on Sky or the sci-fi channel or something like that but I don't think I ever watched it quality ooh ick deep blue sea yes uh, I, 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 I've seen it a number of times terrific fun Tom Jean's great uh, Saffron Burrows isn't it is the lady in the lead she holds it together really well Samuel L. Jackson turns up for a while decent movie very decent movie. One of the better Jaws knockoffs. In fact, probably the, the second best shark movie after Jaws. And American Pie, the first one. Bit ripped, but collector's edition. Bunch of stuff on the side there. Fine, 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 fine. All right, we're getting down to the bottom here. Last load. Uh, welcome to Collinwood. This is a good film. Yes, it's a rental copy, mind you, but it's a good film. Uh, Clooney's not in it very much. It's more Sam Rockwell and William H. Macy and... Oh, what's his name again? Uh, Lewis Gusman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this, this is cool. I'm glad I've got this on DVD, actually, because it, it, it disappeared without a trace. I don't think we've got a proper release here in the UK. Cool, yeah. There's treasure inside. There's an original receipt from Extra Vision Bloomfield Centre in Bangor. I remember that. Someone bought it for $7.99 and a copy of Dirty Deeds. The Sam Neill film. That's cool. I'm going to leave that in there. 2004. <laughs> 310 to Yuma. Oh, it's the, it's the original. 
brilliant. I have the remake uh, with Russell Crowe and, oh, what's his face, Chris, Christian Bale. Isn't it Christian Bale? It's Liam Neeson. No, it's Seraphim Falls. Yeah, it's Christian Bale. Great movie. I don't know about this one. I haven't seen the original, but Glenn Ford can do no wrong in my book. Uh, fantastic. Disc is there. Wonderful. Doesn't need a big Blu-ray at all. The Atticus In Institute from the producer of The Conjuring possesses the possession. Uh, right, okay. Cheap knockoff of The Conjuring in some way. Direct a video jobby. Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. Yeah, I just did all the rounds. I had it on video and I think I have the DVD somewhere. I don't know that I've actually seen it. I might not have seen this or I might have only put it on for a while and got distracted by something else. But it's got special features and things so I'm, I'm glad to have that. That's cool. And if I love it then I can go and buy it on a, a better format. Tom Courtney as Billy Liar with Julie Christie. I can't say I've ever heard of this before. This is a 1960s or 70s movie. I don't see a year of release on it, so I'll have to look it up and see. It's not the best quality DVD, but okay. American Pie 2, terrific. I can put this in the box set that I got in one of the other boxes and have a complete collection. Uh, yeah, American Pie 2 has a booklet with it as well, advertising other DVDs, special features. Yeah, cool. Oh, set down there on top of American Pie 1. And finally, oh wait, no, not and finally, uh, Scary Movie 3.5. I think this is where the scary movie films actually became a little bit funnier. I think the first two were a bit trash. Although James Woods was in the second one, he was quite good. Um, but this is where Leslie Nielsen and the Zucker, one of the Zuckers, David Zucker, took over directing and I think it got a bit funnier. But then it wouldn't be hard given how poor the other scary movies films were and other movie films like date movie and epic movie and all that. Cack. I, I don't know. I wouldn't turn down a, a complete se series of them as a completist and a DVD collector, movie collector. Uh, Casino. Casino. I got this on 4K quite recently, actually. Uh, bonus material. Mm, okay. Looks a bit grimy. But the disc is there. So, fair enough. About a boy. Our rental copy. This was produced by Robert De Niro, if memory serves. Uh, Hugh Grant, Tony Collette, Rachel Weiss. I quite like this film, to be honest. I saw it in the cinema, and I did find myself chuckling. I think it was just peak Hugh Grant being that way. <laughs> you know, that way. Uh, very British gangster, the rise and fall of the crime boss. This is a movie. Okay, uh, who's in it? Nick Mahler. That's the only person that's going to mention. Uh, lots of good reviews. Mail on Sunday, The Times film review. Boasting unguarded and colourfully violent. Boastfully unguarded. Okay. Fair enough. Might be kind of interesting. The Four Feathers. Not the one with Heath Ledger, but the classic. Ralph Richardson. My grandmother's met him, you know. Uh, John Clement and C. Aubrey Smith. Network. Okay, this is a TV movie or maybe a TV series. Network usually does TV series. Grenada Adventures. Theatrical trailer. Okay, so it was a movie movie. All right, cool. Yeah, chuff with that. Oh, we got season two of Peep Show. We're building a collection. We've got three and two. Grand. Big nothing. I remember tracking this down because he was becoming a bit of a thing. As was him. And I don't know who she is. 
neither does the front cover. Alice Eve, right, okay. Yeah, I don't remember anything about this. I have seen it, but I remember nothing, which is appropriate given the title. Uh, McClintock, <laughs> excellent. Authentic collector's edition with never before seen footage. Special features, loads of them. Okay, I'm, I'm chuffed with that. I thought it was a book or something with it. Only on DVD. Five or special features and over two and two and a half hours of exclusive commentaries. Yeah, yeah, that'll go in the collection quite happily. Rental copy of the Calcium Kid. I haven't seen this. Um, I, I, I am quite interested in it. Is that your woman, Billy Piper? It is. Michael Lerner, Michael Pena. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I bring myself to watch a rental copy these days. Um, yeah, maybe, yeah, if, if the mood takes me to, like boxing movies. Awesome. Although there is a big, beautiful box set released from Arrow recently with the police story movies in them. Isn't there? Yeah, there is. Maybe it's not Arrow. But I'm chuffed with this. And this is new police story. So this is what, police story four, isn't it? Well, it'll be five if you don't include Supercop. Two? I can't remember. But yes, uh, terrific series of movies. Absolutely love them. Uh, two disc special edition. Good to have. Loads of special features on there. You can check that against your Blu-ray if you happen to have one. Nice. I hope the rest of the series is in here. Oh. Season four. Okay. Two, three, and four we have. Uh, that's that. Oh, it's got an inlay card. Oh, series one. <laughs> I'm reading four, right? Okay. Series one. So we've got season one, two, and three. That's the colorant of the other copy that I have, I think. It's maybe not that white one. Okay. Ground. Intermission. I do remember getting this out whenever Colin Farrell was becoming big because he was from our, same, our, our land mass. Um, I went and hired this out and thought, well, let's go and see what this guy can do. It's got Colin Meany and Kelly MacDonald. It was pretty good, but I don't remember too much about it. Bit of a shame, but uh, yeah, that'll give me the opportunity to watch and enjoy it again. That was supposed to be really, really funny, and I didn't get it. Kind of a bit like Napoleon Dynamite. It was pretty funny, but I didn't see why everyone was raving about it. And this, even more so, I don't understand why people found this funny in the slightest. It did not amuse me. Maybe it was just the day I watched it. I wasn't in the mood, but uh, I could always try it again. Layer Cake. The two disc edition. This looks familiar. Uh, right, and it's got the lady in. Yeah, that's right. Yep, we've done this before, although this is a different cover. Doesn't have the same cover on the other side. Um, okay, I'll put it together with the other one and see what's, what's different. <laughs> God. Oh, yes, I remember this coming out. I think it was released on video first, uh, but then they released it again whenever they discovered. Someone actually watched it and went, hang on a second, Billy Zane and Billy Bob Thornton are in this too. Let's get another edition of it out there because this is an all-star cast. The disc is there. Apparently it's really bad. It was obviously a film made before Adam Sandler made it big, but for some reason he got the star in that movie. Ah, this was a cracker. It's really scary film, this. Exorcism of Emily Rose and the Unseen version as well. It's a shame it's a rental copy. Because uh, I'd be quite happy to have that. I don't know that I have it on Blu-ray. I don't think I do. But I did have it. I'm, I'm, I might have the original non-rental or the retail version of it on DVD. Decent. Okay. 
And there are special features there, director's commentary, deleted scenes, genesis. Oh, so there's loads of stuff on that. Good to have. And the last handful, you'll be pleased to know. Hidalgo. I've never seen this. I remember coming out and thinking, that looks like Indiana Jones, and being told, no, it's not like Indiana Jones in the slightest. It's him dancing about on a horse. Well, some partner, Omar Sharif's in it. Maybe I'll sit and watch it with my son one day. Looks like that kind of quality. It's 12, though. The Butterfly Effect. Very good film. Uh... And it had a couple of sequels as well. There's quite a few extras on this, too. I don't think I have it at all, actually. Yeah, Amy Smart. Whatever became of Amy Smart? This one again. I wonder if this is the same as the other one. It, it looks very much like it. Okay. Right. It's all going to be Pete Tong. Yeah, that's your man, Dennis Pennis, isn't it? Uh, I can't remember his name. I haven't seen this. I don't really have much interest in seeing it either. But someone might say it's absolutely brilliant, or someone might say it's absolute genius, or insanely funny and deeply moving. Hmm, I don't know. Shaun of the Dead. Just before I started this, I noticed that, uh, yeah, there's going to be a, a 20th anniversary 4K release of Shaun of the Dead soon. 20 years ago. Doesn't seem like it, really doesn't. Uh, tons of extras. Missing bits, TV bits, zombie gallery, raw meat. Yeah, that's that's cool. Um, I don't actually think I have it currently. I'm, I've been waiting for a nice Blu-ray or 4K. And finally, Mr. Deeds, which is one we've had before. Um, in another box because I vaguely remember it as having something to do with his feet someone's feet gosh bungalow 2 look at that Danielle Steele's really low res I'm going to have to check and see if Bungalow 2 is actually a thing. This looks like some sort of joke. Maybe it's a joke with something in the film. I don't know. Yeah, it's got extra features and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's that's your lot. There's quite a lot there. I'm, I'm quite chuffed with this bundle. It's actually making this exercise somewhat worthwhile because I think there's quite a few films there that I'm... I'm genuinely pleased to have. If I haven't seen them, then I'm, I'm wanting to see them. Uh, and there's, I'd say there's a lot more that I'm interested in than I'm not interested in. So top notch, good stuff, good bundle that, I'm dead chuffed. So thanks for watching, take care, and uh, give us a wee thumbs up and subscribe and blah, 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 blah. Bye. Yeah.